Hey guys, it is me, Ramos Perithiander here, and I'm back with, with another video on YouTube, but this is going to be a, a different kind of video. This, this is going to be most likely a how-to video. And the reason why I'm doing a how-to video, because my Xbox 360 apparently has the red ring of death. And that's, and believing that it's red, it makes you think that something is really wrong. Like, for instance, I'm going to show you some of the steps how to fix the red ring of death for the Xbox 360. So, in case, if you see what we, we just did here, we just took out two pieces of ear clo clothing, or whatever that is, and we had some scissors on it. And, and whenever we put them on the ear clothing, we took it one on the the second layer layer top top section for the 360 and we put another one right in the second bottom of the 360 so and this this is a good idea because this basically blocks the uh, the fan from keeping on going because because if it if it does then it will become over here which is not pretty good so we started, we started um, uh, doing that and at around 8.35 and it'd be shoot, it's best to wait for like 5 minutes to um, wait for the um, red ring of death to, uh, incre to decrease a little bit, but if it increases though it could be bad. So, so if your 360 is on either red, orange, yellow, or no color, then it, this is not very good. If it's green, it should come down to no problem. So it should wait till either five or six minutes. So, so I will see you guys then. Okay. All right, guys. So now my now my the three red red rings are now down to two. So that's a good thing to have. So once you once the Red 360 red rings have the uh, two red rings of death. It's recommended you unplug the Xbox, which I did, and take the uh, take the ear ear cleaners off. Right there. So once you uh, once you take the ear, the ear clothes off, and then you the, then you you plug back in your Xbox. You want to wait for a good five to ten minutes. So, I know it takes skill and patience to do it, but it the work it has it takes a lot of work to be done. So, so basically, before you uh, resume playing your Xbox, you can just double check to make sure how well your Xbox is doing. If it's hot or warm right now, it's not a good thing. But if it cools. It, your Xbox will be in really, really good shape. Right now, my Xbox is kind of warm, so it's not a good sign. So we're gonna wait for like. So we're just gonna wait until it cools off. So I will see you when my Xbox gets cooled down. All right. While we're waiting for the Xbox to cool down a little bit. Let's give a brief summary of based on what happened. So basically what I did was I used like a Sharpie to highlight one of the holes I had to put in the cube ticks to put in. In this case, I, I highlighted the second top of hot top hole of the 360 and I put the cube, the cube tick in and I highlighted the second bottom hole of the 360 to put another cube tick in and both of these helps so helps helps that way so it blocks the fan. So basically, I used like I used scissors to uh, cut the uh, cut those cuticles in and, and and place it on the uh, on the 360. So yes, it's good. So as I mentioned earlier, earlier my Xbox is kind of frail right now, but it's improving. But improving, and we did that by basically putting it outside so it should be cooled off any moment so I will see you guys later when I turn it back on and we'll be good 
Alright, now my Xbox is cold once again, so this time I'm going to plug in the, uh, the Xbox, see if it works again. Alright, guys, so with that, with all these instructions done and over with, the, the Xbox 360 has now been completely improved now. So that's how you fix the red ring of death for the Xbox 360. So this is Ramallah's Perith Jenner here, and I'll see you guys in, in either on Friday or Saturday for, for the next video. For, but for Let's Play Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, so, so good bye.